an hour away from finishing this. Uh, if you don't know what this is, hold up, let me explain this game. Uh, if you don't know what Home Safety Hotline is, you don't need to know what it was. Basically, it's a game, uh, like, it doesn't matter that you didn't see the first part. Home Safety Hotline is basically a game where I am a telemarketer, not a telemarketer. I'm like a hotline, right? Like somebody that they would call when something's wrong in their house, right? Sometimes it's a, a raccoon, right? Sometimes it's a rat. Sometimes it's a skinwalker that's trying to eat them, right? And I have to identify what the thing is based on their description, so they'll call, I'll answer, and I'll be like, hello, and they'll be like, I don't know what's going on, there's something green in my house, it's fucking eating my, my family, and then I'll, then I'll tell them what it is, right? And if I fuck up, I die. Or they die, as well, right? So we both need to kind of have a good job here, otherwise everybody dies, right? Because if I don't tell them what the right, like, yeah, if it's a rat, it's not going to kill them. But, like, we're at the point in the game right now where, like, all of the people calling in have, like, a demon in their house. And so it's, like, a genuine problem. You play amazing games? Yeah, I know. You know. And, hey, you know how I play amazing games? Through my chat suggestions. Exclamation point Discord. Great segue. Chat, join the Discord. Exclamation point Discord. HTTPS colon slash slash discord dot gg slash dope bart. Pinned in the in the chat right now. Join the Discord and send videos for me to react to against me to play in the video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab. It's how I find most of the videos that I watch and the games that I play. Tomorrow is a react day. If you have any videos you want me to watch, send those there. Next day, you know, on Minecraft tournament. But after that, you know, it's a bunch of gaming days and shit. If you have any games you want me to play, send those there. If you have any videos you want me to react to, send those there. Always helps. I found this game through you guys. I find most of the games I play through you guys. Uh, same with videos. Shout out for the sub -tent tacos for the two $3 donos. Says, love you. And I hit enter too early. I don't even remember what I was going to be. Oh, and put uh, for another three, would you rather? Erica for the sub. All right. I have a mailbox here. Let's open this up. Do not come to the hole. They a hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thank you for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labor will be recognized. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Tamed River Root. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters within undersoil, this river root is reliable as they come. Their gentle high-frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manner of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well-watered and well-monitored. To receive your discount, just type the following code on your online checkout. 500 fucking dollars. Can I not exit out of this? Okay. Um, should we just hop right in? I feel like we just hop right in here, chat. You guys need to help me with this, by the way. Attack for the sub. We'll hop right in. I don't think... Do I need to turn off my light for this chat? It's not that scary of a game. It's like a horror game, but it's an analog horror game, so it's just kind of creepy. I'll turn my light. Oh, Mods, did you change the uh, description and, the, and all that? Hold on. Oh, no, they did. Okay, dub. Attack for the sub. Ah, uh, did we pop a mini shield? Also, chat. Before we get in. See, this is where we get off topic. Thoughts. Ha who here has seen the Lord of the Rings movie? If, or series, rather. Is, is it good? Like, if I liked Harry Potter... Not the book. I didn't read the fucking book. If I liked the Harry Potter movies, would I like... The Lord of the Ring movies. They're very long. Saw so it was three hours. I'm like, Bleh. it's goaded. It's kind of mid. Movies are good as fuck. It's all right. What are you rating it out of 10? It's a liberal series. Oh, I guess I can't watch it then. 
Oh, liberals like it? Oh, fuck. I guess I just have to watch fucking Fast and Furious 1 through 1 through 10. I guess I, I guess I just have to watch Fast and Furious once again. An 8 a 10. Dude, all the sediment sitting on the bottom. Fast and Furious 1 and 2 bangs. Yeah, and then the rest suck. And then it's not even about cars. They're just like criminals that fucking rob banks and shit. Cheers. Oh, my God. Chat, that was the strongest mini shield shot I've ever had. I didn't even take half. Oh, my God. It's just very sedimenty. Is it vodka? No, it's, there's not even alcohol. It's like a... You ever have like a thick health shot? Like a viscous health shot? Like some shit that like... Your hippie friends like... This is gonna make you live to 150. It And then you take it and it's like... Your body wants to recede inside of itself. That's... It's like a health shot. Oh it also might be expired. Hold on. I don't know. It might be expired. I've had those for what? Like five months? Chat, how long do you think uh, Kratom shots last? Tortoise for the four. Been watching you a year and a half. I think it's been awesome. Big for the sub. Playboy for the three. Can you check how many times I got timed out so I can add it to my counter? Uh, attack at LMAO for the sub. Shout out for the sub. Can one of my mods check that? I need to hop into this game. What's in that mini shield? Uh, Kratom and Kava Root. Um, that's all that's in that one. There was another one that had other shit in it. I used to be partnered with them. Not anymore, but I still have some, all, all their shit. All right, chat, lock in here. Lock the fuck in here. These are all the things that we have to identify. Uh, I will familiarize myself and you guys with them. Oh, it's my manager, Carol. Hello. Hey, Carol. Supervisor Carol here. Hey, hey. My accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. Thank you. I have updated your permissions once more. Wow. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Why is she talking like that? Normally, she wouldn't talk like that. She would talk all, like, uh, normal, right? That was like she was talking like it was, uh, some fucking crazy shit. Sprig tree, sprig vine, soap sprite. Rain Nymph. Oh my god, they're giving me all this new- What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Chat, what was that? That I just looked at. I clicked on some shit and that looked fucking terrifying. Oh god, we already have a caller. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. Oop. I think it might be my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say because he's been gone for days now, and the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic Satanistic ritual crap, I assume. But tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. Please hold. Alright, it had. There's a tree and black liquid. Not, what the fuck is that? That looks like a toddler. Attic gnome, bat, bed bugs, bed teeth, a bogart. Ooh, black mold? No. Closet labyrinth. Fuck, what are we thinking this is? Dream weaver. Weave dreams into reality? No. False flower. I feel like we're really gonna fuck up on this one. Floor roots? Tree-like brown roots know to grow upwards from the floor and wrap themselves around various objects. No. It has black liquid. Lamp sprite la laundry gnome. Memory wisp mirror nymph. Oh, shit. What the fuck you mean, no, yes? 
What do you mean? Pipe hob, portal, raccoon. Yeah, I think it's a raccoon. Surely it's one of these things. Burrowing outside of outdoor plants. I put floor roots. A soap sprite, a sprig tree. Rapidly growing tree-like organisms that root in a human body. They're known to cause structural damage to a home and reach full size in a matter of days. Indoor location. Surely it's a sprig tree, right? She said tree. Tree going in the shed. Torn up fabric. Dude, that'd be his body. His body, like, as he became a tree, his fucking clothing got ripped off. What game is this? I'm confused. They come to me with a problem, and I identify what their problem is to save their life. Her son turned into a sprig tree. I feel like that's the only thing it could be. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Otherwise she'll probably call me back with some very upset wording. Sounds like a you problem. Oh, your son turned into a tree? Here's the solution. There isn't a solution. Your son's fucking dead. He's a tree now. <laughs> like, literally, that's what I basically told her. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house. And after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Alright, it's, uh, it's definitely a gnome or whatever. Because the small creatures clean things, the hobs. You think it's a common hob? A desk hob? Is there a kitchen hob? Ooh, maybe it's a night gnome. No. Pipe hob. Toilet hob. A hob or a goblin? Chat, what are we feeling here? I really just want to put common hob. Small humanoid creatures, gray, burlap, sap skin. They have no false face. Generally come out at night. Not dangerous if provoked. Compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis. Ah. It's definitely a hob. I just don't know what hob it is. A laundry gnome? No, because he said it's his kitchen. Yeah. Common hob. Surely. Surely. Playboy for the three. Play Lethal Company, Roblox? No. Sneaky for the sub tortoise for the four. Been watching you for a year and a half. It's been awesome. Thank you. Uh, Big Neil for the sub. Is this Rumble? No, this is Facebook Gaming. I actually got signed with them, chat. I'm going over there tomorrow. See you guys on Facebook Live. Mark Zuckerberg actually gave me a hundred dollar deal. Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services. And not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. Breaking all into their greenhouse and no taunting them with singing? None of your stupid security alarms all they do is sing. Off. Please. All they do is sing. What the fuck would that even be? A whistling fun guy? No, 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 no. Wine sprite. Unicorn Fungi? You think it's a gnome? What gnome sings? Oh, wait, no. She said into their garden. Yeah, probably a garden gnome then, right? There isn't a garden gnome. You're telling me there's not a fucking garden gnome? 
Lamp Sprite, Laundry Gnome, Memory Wisp, Pipe Growth. Your shirt's a gnome. She said it wasn't seen, so maybe it's not something that moves. A Night Gnome? I feel like that makes sense. Heavy breathing sounds. Yeah, that doesn't sound like singing, Chad. I don't think it's a fucking... I don't know if it's a gnome. Maybe a rain nymph? No. Talking. Or she said it was talking? No, she said it's been singing. Taunting us with their singing. Unicorn fungi? No. A raccoon, pipe hob, pipe growth, night wisp. Maybe a night wisp? No. Promises of good wealth and fortune. A whistling fungi? Yeah, but a whistling fungi isn't fucking singing. They said it's been singing. Now that's a song, right? Housefly, the horde, gopher, the fungi sing, dickhead. Are you sure? Singing in harmony, evacuate your home. So which, okay, it is a fungi then. So what, what fungi? It's not a unicorn fungi. Because that, that attaches to an animal. They're saying in their garden. I think there's only like three types of fungi. Bungie. It has to be a whistling fungi. Sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. All right, I'll say that. It's gotta be the Smurfs. Yeah, I think it's Smurfette building a house in your fucking garden. It was a false flower? No! Chat, you literally said, bro, some motherfucker in my chat was like, it's a fun guy, dickhead. Oh my hey, god. Flipper here. I got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. Know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Is he Can't talking about his nuts? When I'm deadlifting, know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing the uh, spit. Hey, who who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now now easy there. Get away. Get away. What was that laughing? What was that laughing? What was that? I feel like we're gonna need to know that. What was that? What was that giggling? That's one of the things that we just fucking heard, bro. What was one of those things that giggles? Oh my god, it just fucking killed him. That guy, for those of you that don't know that weren't here the other day, he that guy prank calls you every day. Now he's dead. Oh, what giggles like that? Somebody said a kobold. Nah, that looked that was like an that looked like a dog. <laughs> Eh, no, probably not, because it snuck up on him. Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. Yeah. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Did they he kill them? Employee. Did they kill him? They fucking killed him. Oh my god, my company killed him. Bro, if I fuck up, they'll fucking murder me. We can't get one wrong. Oh, no. I hope I got those right. I think we need, like, a 70% fucking correct rate for them not to be mad.
That didn't sound normal. There's, there's some kind of insect in my house, and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Please hold. It flew in. And it smells bad. What would fly in and smell bad? What just happened there? Oh, that. No! They're, oh my god, it's not letting me fucking see the descriptions. Fuck, chat. Okay, off the dome. Off the dome. What do we know that flies? Not a sprite. Not a travel gnome. No gnomes. Termite tea sprite. Sprites fly. Soap sprite. Oh, it would smell bad, though. What would smell bad? It got electrocuted. Oh, you think it's a lamp sprite and it fucking got itself stuck in a bulb? I I'm down to go for that. I'm down to go for that. I'm down to go for that. I don't know if that's right, though. I don't know if lamp sprites smell like burnt anything. I want to know. I wish it would fucking show me. Oh my god, am I gonna have to do the rest of the day with just fucking network errors? We're just gonna have to go off the fucking rip. Sensei and Wizard for the sub. Golden for the three. My B Joe, I thought it was a whistling fun guy. You're good. LMAO for the three. Love your shapes. Thanks for bringing up my mood. Navy and the Sark for the sub playboy for the three. Burnt piss sprite. Yo, you ever take a piss that just fucking reeks? Like, absolutely, like a horrid, a horrid piss. Hold up, let me take this call real quick, chat. It, it took my daughter! It took my daughter! She, she's gone! It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it! I saw it with my own eyes! Please, send help! The police won't do anything! Send help! Please hold. Oh my god. Okay, oh no, no, it's letting me see again. It's letting me see again. Okay, wait, I want to see if it was a lamp's right. Burning smell in the home. W chatters. Okay. It takes kids. And it has tentacles. Floor roots? Trees, blah, blah, blah. Wrap themselves around various objects. Serve a little danger... To awaken aware human adults. Not spotted quickly. Known for strangling. Hazard for human children and pets when they sleep. Uh, I don't know. Took her down with it. Yeah, that would be... If it went, in, if it went into the ground... Is there anything else that grabs things? Yeah, floor roots is a good guess. We'll throw that in. This has been a long day. I feel like we're only going to get, like, one more call. Normally, the days are, like, five calls. Uh, set safe for the side. But we're also nearing the end of the game. I think there's this day and then maybe one or two more. Oh, that was a quick caller. Alright, ma'am, give me a minute. <laughs> Alright, ma'am, give me a minute. Chat this one really bad. I think it's a memory wisp. Off rip. 
Memory rifts are invisible, odorless house rifts that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory rifts are often reporting missing pictures, but a mob's inability to remember the face of loved ones. But that's not themselves. Maybe a mirror nymph? Stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. Faceless humanoids carrying a large mirror on the back to look onto. Homeowners afflicted commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Uh, but she knows who she is. Maybe a mirror nymph. What else would rip somebody's memory? Sprig tree, rain nymph, raccoon. What does rain nymph do? Water damage? No. I would say it's probably a fucking mirror nymph. What is a dream weaver? Feed off dreams while they sleep. No. I love the music. I think there's a chance I'm wrong now. Because I, I know it says not being able to recognize their own face, but she said it took me. Uh, which just doesn't seem uh, like it would be in Mirror Nymph. I don't know. Maybe. What did a kobold do again? Never end up a kobold's domain. Now that's definitely not it. I think it might have been a gopher, chat. A common ground weasel. Druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police. There's the debt, chat. Relax. Call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Yo, she sounds like a fucking Karen. The girl's name's Ramona. Use needles, cans, metal scrap. Uh, ma'am, are you sure that your caller ID should it should say Karen? Please hold. Uh, needles and cans. I kind of already want to go the hoard. Trash in the home make proto spreading disease in the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, rusty metal. Yo, I fucking, I fucking gut scanned that, chat. I fucking gut scanned that. So easy. Watch her call back. My children are dead! Look, you, you, you told me it was the horde! Ah. Nah, it's definitely the horde. I couldn't see what else it would be. Fay Feast, Dream Weaver, Floor Roots, Fracture Hob. Damn, another caller, bro. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Somebody's showing lights Please through their hold. house? A night wisp? No. Oh. Bright floating lights. Bro, like, how is he calmly calling? Chat, if you heard that at night, what are you doing? Sounds like fucking Harry Potter speaking the, uh, the, the fucking snake language. Move on to other homes after a week, if they're ignored. 
So all he has to do is just not... Not listen to them. I feel like that's fairly simple. For sure, black mold. This is a slow pass, a slow pacing game. Well, I mean, yeah. Hey, uh, so I think I found some kind of door. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should step through it. No, definitely. Yeah, I think I think I need to go inside. Yeah, no, go in the door. The wind feels so nice. Yeah, no, definitely go in the door. That's definitely not. Please that's definitely hold. not uh, something that's uh, dangerous. It's a fucking portal. She's probably going to die if she steps through that. Uh, but then she won't call back. So, you know, if we get this one wrong, chat, I don't really know if that's that big of a deal. What? Uh, what is something that you would travel through? <laughs> Maybe just a portal? A door-shaped opening to an outdoor location other than the homeowners discovered most commonly in basements and underground cellars. She said the wind feels nice, so it's definitely outside. Yeah, definitely the portal. Chat, you stepping through that portal? I honestly might. I'd be worried that it would close, though. But that looks pretty welcoming. Based Saul Goodman for the 10 gifteds. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted subs. Thank you, got Thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds, Base Saul Goodman. One, two, three, four. Filth for the fucking sub. Hold up. Filth for the 27 month sub. Base Saul Goodman. Thank you for the sub. This oh. might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like, that little soap thing and everything, but I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. It's still got to hiding in here please hold she said soap which immediately wants me to go soap sprite consuming bacteria they occupy bathrooms and appear similar to pink soap bars in order to feed off the hands that use them uh, I don't think it's that I kind of want to go... Where's, like, the sink gnome or some shit? Pipe hob. Mm. No. What has tentacles? A toilet hob? No. Ah, dude, it, it, they said it was small. Oh my god, it's a soap sprite. Because they said it's under... I checked under the soap thing. Yeah! Because they were like, oh, I checked under the soap thing and I don't know where it went. It has to be the soap hob. Or soap sprite. Now that's wrong. Somebody said house fly. How the fuck would that be a house fly? Well, you're saying I'm just an, oh, oh, 90 percent accuracy chat. We're fucking locked in. Locked the fuck in. I think this might be our last day next. Because we just we just completed our fifth day. I, at most, it's seven days. Ooh, what is this? Oh, Great American Hikes. There's day six and seven, Thunder Peak. This does actually look like a very peaceful area. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations.
In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Supplies. This is where it's gonna get fucking weird. An AK-47. As with any hiking trail, you want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots. A water bottle. Don't want to get thirsty. An iron sword. In case you need to go into battle. Climbing gloves. Get pretty rocky out there. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. 3,000 grams of marijuana. Dude, that means so much. The trail. Thunder Peak Trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Pace yourself as you progress. Wait, as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Be sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trail. When you see the red and yellow lines, it means you're in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. What the fuck? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would I remove? You're going to go in bare socks? Enter the cave. Oh, God. Looks like a fairly modern door for a cave. Even a lock on it. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. What's in the fucking cave? Follow the lights. Do not stray. There's no music anymore. I really wish there was. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you think I'm gonna fight that fucking thing? Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. You made it! Now enjoy the view. Unsheath your sword if you hear this sound. Bro, imagine walking by somebody on a fucking hiking trail with like a medieval iron sword just poking out of his fucking backpack and he's like, You bring your sword? I'm like, no. He's like, what do you mean no? What do you what do you mean no? I'm going on a fucking hiking trail. So what are you gonna do if you hear it? Hear what? He just, like, paces quickly down the mountain. Well, that was scary. What's in the mailbox? This address is no longer available. Hello, if you're receiving this email, it's because you, uh, you have been emailed by this address. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline. The guy that was emailing me is dead. Congrats. Oh, another fucking stupid-ass coupon. A fresh hag hide? I'm not using that. All right, next day.
Are you baked? No. I did take a mini shield, though, and it was pretty strong. I feel it. All right, we're on day six. God, we're probably going to unlock everything now. This has 13 calls. No fucking way. Yo, surely I unlock everything. Ah, uh, no, there may be one more day after this. Because this is like 10 things that it would unlock at once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we might unlock half of them. Yeah. Carol, hello, Carol. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. What are you, fucking I've Shakespeare again? ...to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Oh, I do have every entry now. A warlock remnant, a troll spriggan, reanimation puka, neighbor's doorway, leprechaun, dorka, bed hag, and autumn vines. Dude, she just like got medieval on me all of a sudden. Hello, employee. Lend thine ear once more. What's up, Pamela? I'm calling for the last time to tell you that the advice you sent us was useless. So, thanks for nothing. Just the other night, I heard singing again. So, I've sought business elsewhere. I have a private security team investigating the greenhouse as we speak. Well, we know what it is now. What on earth? Oh, well, she doesn't want to help anymore. She dies. What was it, chat? It was like a fake plant or something. What was it called? We did that one wrong. That was the one that we knew we got wrong. Yeah, it was like the flower. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Please hold. They consume wine. They're large-eyed winged creatures with translucent skin that often appears red wine when they're feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. How homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly report broken glasses and wine having a rotten taste and smell. I feel like off-rip, that's definitely it. Like, it can't not be that. A Bogart? Yeah, but, like, she wouldn't have yapped on about the wine for that long if she was just trying to... If, if, that would have been a throw-off if it was just a Bogart. That thing is creepy, though. It makes that weird-ass noise. What is a bed hag? That's fucking terrifying. Yo, anybody else check under their bed at night? I always check under my bed at night, but I don't know what I would do if I saw someone. Probably punch him in the face and then fucking break the bed. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. Oh my god, was it a it's desk cob? To high heavens and something is leaking out of it. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Wow, that's like not a lot of information. I'm immediately going to look at desk cob because it might have died, but I don't think they smell. Yeah, they sort shit. What would smell in a desk? Oh, you think wood secretions? Viscous liquid, yeah. Wait, did she say liquid? Yeah, leaking. Sticky pool buildup, deadly to humans, rapper translation of flash. It doesn't say it smells, though. Oh, a foul odor will be interpreted as a sweet candy like. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! Human children will assume that the foul smell is like candy. Okay. Because she said it smells bad, but she didn't say the kids think it smells bad. She just said they want to know what it is. Wow. Well, that was a fucking dub. Dude, hold up. I need a water. One moment. One moment, man. Hello? 
Oh, sir. I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. If I Hoping ate fruit in public? There's a smell. Wait, no, not a smell. Something outside moving around the trees, but she saw that. Please hold. This is going to be hard. Because this is... She just said she saw it outside. Deceased remains of living creatures. No. Oh, that thing looks nice. It just looks like a stand... It looks like Ted. Harmless to humans. Oh, that's nice. Neighbor's doorway. Maybe it's a leprechaun. She said it was outside, though. What would be outside? The one thing that I want to immediately go to is a night gnome. Something moving around the trees. Never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I feel like that, you, you see their eyes, right? Oh, Spriggans are, cre are, are, are um, tree creatures. Seen rarely in households inside trees. Act violently upon house owners if provoked. Ah, chat, do you think it's a night gnome uh, or a Spriggan? I feel like a Spriggan, because they mentioned the trees and then mowing the lawns recently. Yeah, because it's getting overgrown. Everything's getting overgrown. That's the problem here. Yeah, surely. Just for the fucking 400 biddies. I'm 29 and starting the gym tomorrow. You're pretty yoked. Do you have any advice for an overweight like me? Hold up. After I listen to this caller, yes. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. A British lady. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Okay, so she's clearly hypnotized. Please hold. What would hypnotize her? Okay, back to Jess real quick. Native for the sub. Trey and Mustard for the sub. Death for the thousand biddies. I signed all the papers to join the Navy tonight. I'm going to do my best to be a fighter pilot. Also, you're an awesome streamer. Well, thank you for the fucking thousand biddies. Uh, also, fucking thank you for deciding to uh, serve our country. Uh, I'll say thank you for our, your service uh, once you graduate from the Navy. But, dude, uh, good luck. Sleep for the sub. Faded for the sub. Uh, Aloha for the sub. Uh, and just, I don't really, I mean, cardio is a big thing. I think diet's a big thing if you're trying to lose weight, uh, more so than lifting. But I think in the gym, I would say the best split that I use is back biceps, abs, day one, chest, triceps, shoulders, day two, legs, abs, day three, day four, I rest. And then day five, I just restart from the beginning, right? Um... I would say lean more heavy on cardio if you're trying to lose weight first. Uh, and then weightlifting. Cool for the three. My parents are splitting. I'm losing my dog. I'm sorry to hear that. I have to move houses. I want to know if you have advice. I, I mean, I can't really give you any advice there. Outside of trying to keep maybe a stoic mindset about it. In the sense that you can't really do anything about it. So don't kind of beat yourself up about the situation. Just kind of adapt. In the sense of um, trying to keep a positive mindset while you're going through it. Um, but I'm sorry that your parents are splitting. Y'all are saying autumn vines. Um, often repeal, report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. Cause household accidents thanks to the blissful dizzying effects. Mm. 
Yeah, if they're drawing around the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. W chat. She sounded blissful. Yeah. No, definitely. Mods, ban Joe Bart's the best. But he's just spamming F. Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm... I I'm not where I should be. It sounds like dementia. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. I'm immediately assuming it's a memory wisp. Ah, I don't know. She's saying, how do I get back to my family? They're not my family. Um... I will say I think it's a memory list. Because I don't know what else it would be, and I don't want to just scroll through everything to make, like, a shitty guess. A mirror nymph? No, because she doesn't forget who she is. Well, no, she... What the fuck just happened? I just had... I... You really think it was a mirror nymph? I don't think it was a mirror nymph, because then she would have remembered her family. She just re doesn't remember her own face. She said she didn't remember basically anything. Which makes me think that it was that. Wheelchair for the three. Got any pre-workout or vitamin recommendations for gaining muscle? They're not going to help you gain muscle. Taking pre-workout workout or vitamins yeah, won't help you gain muscle. This awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room. And when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big, too. Which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Please hold. Yeah, I want to look at Faye Feast, but I don't know. Edible food substances. But she said it looked like shit. Hmm. And she sp said it smelled like rotten eggs. Would that smell like rotten eggs? Keep reading. Not dangerous if left unconsumed. Yeah, but I don't know. Horrible presence consumed immediately once I provoked. Should be consumed immediately. Oh. Yeah, I'll throw that down. I don't know if that's right, though. It's a gopher for sure. Yeah, no, it's definitely just a fucking house gopher. There's just a fucking gopher in your home. Don't worry. Uh, no, but uh, vitamins and uh, like pre-workout, like they're good in the sense of like, hey, you're getting like the daily things you need and pre-workout helps you work out. But neither of those are going to help you gain muscle. Uh, and multivitamins, in my opinion, are fucking useless. Just eat the vitamins that you need. Unless you have a vitamin deficiency, just eat the vitamin contents that you need. Pre-workouts, I think, are useful for some people, but not for me. You're definitely wrong. No, creatine hey, helps you gain muscle. Yeah, Protein helps you gain muscle. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place. Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to get cancer. As much as freaking possible. And every night, it's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Itchy kids? Please hold it. No. And they have they have fucking nightmares. Parasitic in nature feed off dreams of humans while they sleep. It can lead to increased anxiety in large webs when they weave called trapped uh trapped us pests and children, causing further complications. Uh Bed bugs? I don't think it's bed bugs, chat.
And they're saying they have nightmares. Itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. Uh, you think that's bed bugs? Yeah, I mean, it is itchiness. And a dream weaver is not going to make them itchy. It's just going to make them have nightmares and fucking feed off of it. The dad would have the itchy thing too if it was bed bugs. Not if it was in their bed. Like, if the bed bugs are in their, the other kids' beds, maybe. I mean, yeah. Wheelchair. All right, I read that. No, but I, I it might have been bed bugs. It, 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 that makes the most sense, but I wanted to look at the other shit. He did pesticides? Yeah. The info you said didn't help. And, and this family that claims to be mine is trying to have me committed. Where am I? Where's my real family? I need to get back to my real family. No, get away with me. Get Where? Get what was me. it? I need you back. Oh, neighbor's doorway. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. And it just look it, it's like yo what's that one movie Coraline. It's just like that shit. Where they act like your family but they're not your family. I was sure it wasn't that. Do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues. And nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Uh, be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway, we're still freezing our butts off over here. So tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. No idea. Literally no idea. He's cold. They're in the cold? Their heater's having a fucking issue. What the hell would that be? Somebody said a leprechaun. What the fuck would that do? Long-term damage to heaters. Wow. Buddy just fucking IQ read that no problem. That was so fast. Yo, that fucking chatter immediately got that. Bed teeth. Bed teeth wouldn't cause problems to fucking heaters. Bed teeth. Her teeth hurt because she was an infant and her teeth were growing in. That had nothing to do with the issue. I think some pranksters might be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this strange whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. All right, whoopee cushion sound. I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, th I think they're onto my tricks. Have any yeah, my my chat's immediately saying troll. I'm I'm thinking it's troll, but Please I we, I only read that thing once. Yeah, they steal warm material, warm materials like blankets and clothes. Yeah, what percussion? Yeah, that sounds like somebody's ripping ass. Off rip immediately, immediately, definitely that. We haven't gotten a lot of these, though. Like, they give me so many things, and I feel like there's, like... I've never gotten a Warlock Remnant. I've never gotten, uh... Like, a Seedling. And I feel like we've had Seedling for fucking forever. Hello, I saw your commercial, and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic tea to tea. Sprite. You know. Tea sprite. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should fucking be gut about read, myself. gut read, chat. My hearing isn't what it used to be. After I'm all. telling you. I'm telling you. Please hold. Well, the gut read's gonna be the answer here because uh, they disabled my fucking computing system. I don't know why else they would mention fucking tea leaves. Like, that's the only thing that it could be is a fucking tea sprite. I feel like they do make them a little bit easier. Am I wrong? 
when you don't have your info, I feel like they give you hints that you would know from memory rather than, like, having to read the last paragraph of, of what fucking a bed hag does. I mean, we're about to see, though. Hi, we need some medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma. Shortness of Some breath? Dreamweaver, 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 we Dreamweaver. We tried washing Weaver. all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than oh, later? Oh, wait, no, they haven't had nightmares. They just have asthma. Uh, Please hold. Dude, they might have, like, mold. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, chat. All right, we're gut reading. No way. Talk to my family. We've been having trouble sleeping. We started feeling shortness of breath. Uh, I feel like it's not something scary. I feel... I don't think it's carbon monoxide, chat. That would fucking kill you. I want to say mold, dude. The bed hag? Why a bed hag? What what about a bed why a bed hag? Why? You guys are just saying bed hags. But what is it what what do you mean? Why? Because of the shortness of breath? Okay. If you oh and it's like laying on them at night or some shit? I don't know. Okay, I'd, I'd go with that. I want to read that, though, when it gives me my info back, because I feel like you guys are wrong. God, dude, is it really going to make me fucking gut read these for the rest of the day? So, uh, I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear it's that? It's like music in the back. It's been stop lately. I've replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything, but I cannot figure out where this Yeah, that just sounds like a whistling fungi. If they're saying it's coming from the walls. Okay, now it's letting me look. Now I'm going to fact check my chat on the bed hag. Report croaking or wheezing sounds of night feeling a heavy weight on their chest. Uh, yeah, you guys were right. All right, let me look at whistling fungi. I could just compare the sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, all, oh, immediately. Immediately, that is it. That just, it just sounds exactly like it. Singing harmony in the walls, yeah. No problem. Gut read any percent? I feel like I could. Now, at this point, I feel like I could gut read most of them. Outside of it was like a warlock remnant, because I don't even know what this does. Castles are underground. Yeah, that's why I'm not fucking dealing with that shit. I love your voice. Um, Thank you. Hello. Can you help me? Uh, sorry, There's Rachel. This terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball too. He's really been acting up lately. Bro, you named your dog I can Meatball. I blame him. It, it smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? The dog's been acting up Please lately. Hold. I automatically want to go cobalt, bro. No. God, what what was that one thing that was standing that looked like a dog? What was that one thing that was standing and I was like, that's not scary? This. Uh. But the discarded body of household pets leave behind create other pests and diseases within the home. Foul smell. Yeah, it's the fucking puka. Something killed their animal. And now it's acting like their pet. Oh, that's so fucking creepy. I always think about that when I take my dog out at night. If she ever runs somewhere where I can't see her, I'm like, dude, what if a skinwalker just kills her and then replaces my dog? 
Like, you ever get a weird look from your dog when they run back inside? You're like, is that my dog? Some. I thought Flipper was dead. I thought Flipper was dead. Hanky and Anar for the sub. Alona for the sub. 92%. So we got one wrong. We got one wrong because we did a lot that day. All right, we should be on the last day now. Yeah, day six completed. He got turned into a rat. Oh, he did get turned into a rat. Entry browser. What is this? Oh, I just, because I have all of them now, I'm able to look at them. All right. Mailbox. Most pleased with your labors, currently making all the necessary preparations for your impeding dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Am I one of these things that, like, like, am I not human? Is that the lore behind this, is that I'm not human? They're gonna kill me after this? Or am I, like, I'm, like, happily descending? You're a rat? I don't think I'm a rat. Why would I go in the soil? Thy trial hath begun. Oh, don't tell me I got read. Lock the fucking chat. We are many, we are above. We are followers of our queen. What are we? A bees? Please hold. Yeah. Oh, would it automatically tell me if I'm right? Okay, good. Showcase thy knowledge. Oh, it's gonna be in riddles, dude. This is actually fucking sick. Okay. I'm not living. I'm not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, and then I die. What am Please I? Hold. If they're not living, how do they die? You think an animation? Uh, get the iron sword out? Yeah, I wish I had the iron sword fucking locked in right now. God, what is not... I'm not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, and then I die. What am I? An animation. I feel like that's a reanimate. Ooh. An animation or a reanimation? Because reanimations are dead people. No. Yeah, because an animation, an animation is small, whereas a reanimation is a full-on dead person. Wow. How do I know if I got it wrong? Mods, time out, uh, Jacob. Hold up, next one. Bro, maybe change my answer. Nah, I changed my own answer, and then I fucking got back. It says forge ahead. Am I just waiting for another call right now? What does that even mean? Oh. That took a while. I am the beggar. Bruh, I gotta let it play out. It's so fucking loud. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Bitch.
Yeah, Rain Nymph is what I want to go. But let me double check. Friend to the water of the sky. Yeah, so it's definitely not like a toilet gnome or some shit. Uh, yeah, we'll go Rain Nymph. We'll go Rain Nymph. Uh, chat, what do you think we are right now? I feel like we definitely got one wrong. Definitely got one wrong. Surely a house spider. Press on, employee. I'm about to clutch the fuck up here. Sauce me a hard one. You got them all right. Dude, I just know they're gonna hit us. I just know they're gonna hit us with one that's like impossible. Let's see, now this is the one that's impossible. Dude, I am the oh. harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? What does harbinger mean? Can I Google the definition? Is that cheating if I Google what harbinger means? Uh, a forerunner, a person or thing that announces or signals the approach of another. I don't know if that would be a housefly, chat. I was gonna say a warlock remnant. That was the w I wish I read more about that. But that seems like something... That seems like something that would be... Why would it be a housefly? How is a housefly the harbinger of death? Bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. Forever the nuisance makes me think housefly. Because they are nuisances. What is pestilence? Like, I know what pestilence is in a sentence, but I need the definition. A fatal disease. There's so many things that bring disease, though. Do flies bring disease? I feel like mold or, like, fey flu. Fey flu. It's mold, fey flu. Oh, my God. Is there mice? Don't tell me there's mice. Oh. You think it's mice? Houseflies don't bring disease, chat. Like, mice bring disease. Rats bring disease. I'm going mice. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Flies are on dead things, though, but it says I'm the bringer of pestilence. Flies don't bring pestilence. Mice bring pestilence. It was houseflies. Name a time where you got fucking a uh, disease from a housefly. I seek the domains of those Please who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? Either a portal or a, or a fake door. Step within and they lose their way. Neighbor's doorway or a portal? I feel like portal's more simple. Yeah, no, because they didn't lose their way in the neighbor's doorway. They will lose their way in the portal. Yeah, portal. <laughs> Closet labyrinth? Mm -hmm. 
We compel those who tread tre tread to tread no longer. We're companions of the garden. Please hold. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. Like they compel people to kill themselves? A seedling? See, that's the one thing that I've never used. I don't know. The false beat? You think it's a false beat? No, false beat isn't a companion of the garden. I'll go seedling because I've literally never gone seedling. And I feel like you might be right. I'm wondering how many more we have to do. And I'm wondering what percentage of these I have to get right. Like, I feel we definitely got at least two wrong. We definitely got at least two wrong. Please hold. I'm the dancer. I'm the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I'm the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? Consuming the weak wanted me to go dream uh, weaver, but I don't think a house fire. Forsaken oil and the careless light. Yeah. Wow, you guys are good at riddles. Chat's good at riddles here. W chat. I feel like I would 100% lose this without you guys right now. I fucking suck at riddles. Oh, is this the last one? Descend. Somebody said bro really fell off. Damn. Yo, Jim, get your bitch ass out of here, buddy. It's your first chat in my stream. How the fuck would you? Uh, I'll get back to you in a second, ma'am. Let me put you on hold. Please hold. Uh, Jim, get your bitch ass the fuck out of here. You've been following me for three days. Um, um, um. Band. Joe Bart salute and chat. Bye, Jim. See you later. Omnia for the sub, CSR for the three, Jamba Juice for the 15 hundred buddies. You're my favorite streamer. I really like your content. I don't have a lot of time to watch here, but I watch your YouTube videos. And I want to say uh, I thank you a lot for helping me through tough times. And uh, going over to Jersey over spring break, any plans I should or shouldn't go? Uh, spring break in Jersey? I mean, yeah, being by the shore would be nice if it's warm. But, I mean, outside of that, there's nothing really you shouldn't do, I guess. there's I Don't go to Camden. Uh, I, I feel like that's a given, though. Hanky for the sub. Uh, Anar for the sub. It's icy for the sub. I'm the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? Uh, my DoorDash driver. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. A Dorka? What the fuck is a Dorka? My chat saying Dorka just makes me go Dorka. I feel like we never even answered that. How would you guys know that? I feel like my chat's cheating right now. No lie. What is, what is it? What is that even doing to me? There's no audio. Oh my god! At the end, bro. I hope you guys read it. She just said I was getting promoted because I did well. That was literally it. She said you're getting. Bitch, what? Please be not afraid. Come close. This is not the game I was originally playing. Is she topless? Stop.
what is happening. Congratulations. All hail our new junior Do you, okay, chat, out, out outside of the memes, be real, 100%, hold on. Outside of the memes, would you guys want me to play Roblox one day? I will make an account soon, but like, what would I, what, what, what would I play? Like, what do you play on Roblox? Is there just game modes, or is it like creator-made maps? I'm pretty sure it's like creator-made maps, right? Doors? Well, that's what everybody says, is that fucking game of doors. But that's the only thing, like, I could list doors, and then I remember I played survival games. Like, way back. Like, way back. Horror games? Are there anything that's not horror games that's good? 